There are any number of times, whether it's in the briefing in person, or getting the orders in the field, or trying to talk to another unit to link up with them, where you need to turn MGRS coordinates that you receive into a position on the map so that you may plot further. The first thing you do is you're going to grab your handy dandy notebook. Never try to just try to make the coordinates make sense on the map as you read it live. Always write down things to make sure that you've got them correctly and you can refer to them. Then you can call it. Reckless 78, Reckless 78, this is Wave Rider 35. Go ahead. Reckless 78, Wave Rider 35, good copy, out. Then, and probably before you actually confirm they're good, you should look at it and make sure that there's an even number of letters. I always draw this little line between them. In this case, since we have eight, we need to make sure we have four on each side. Two on each side, or three, or five is also acceptable, but there's always an even number of digits on any MGRS coordinates. Then, we're going to start plotting it on the map. First thing you do is you go, your coordinates are always found by going across, then up. So look at either the numbers in the middle of the map or the numbers along the edge. Always take the first two digits regardless how many you received. So first we're finding 0, 7. We go across to 0, 7, and then we go up. Keeping that in mind, keep your finger on it or mark it or something. Go up until you find 8, 7. We've marked here, though it's a little off the map. Then, since they did give us additional digits of accuracy, we can start try to find more information. The, the two digit, the so rather four digit with two per side, is not giving you a point, it's giving you a grid reference. It gives you the point for the lower left hand corner of a thousand meter square. All additional accuracy does the same. It gives you the lower left point for a hundred meter or ten meter square. Using another scale lets us get down to 100 meter or even to a certain degree 10 meter accuracy. There the scales exist, but instead you're already carrying one around probably. The compass has a scale, a ruler on the side, designed expressly for this purpose. You're not going to play around with the magnetic compass portion of things, you're just using this little ruler on the side. So the first one is 9-0. We're just going to deal with the 9 part now. So, whenever you go left to right, you can always look at the numbers and you count to 9 from the left side. And that's about 9 across. And then the other one is 3, 5, vertically. Again, we ignore the, three, the 5, we're just going to do the 3. And you count up in this case. Additional precision could be achieved with a high, high resolution scale, but you notice that the, the fourth digit is either 0 or 5 in this case. That's about the fact that you can always split any number in half. So the, nine, the horizontal direction is 0, meaning right on the line. The vertical direction is 5, meaning halfway up the next one. And now you know this, this point with a significant degree of precision, and it's easy to walk to.